Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadonkster Born, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park social media lounge video. I, I nearly tricked then, uh, instead of saying theme park news, I said social media lounge. Uh, now this is on an exciting project that I got to be involved in uh, that went up last night. I put it on the community post, I put it on my Facebook, you guys know what I'm talking about now. It is the Coasters and Toasters podcast. Uh, from Thrill Central over in America. Uh, so today I'm just going to talk to you about how it all came to be, um, what it was like on the day, uh, and also uh, why I never told you guys really, first of all. Uh, so if you, if you do like this video and you want to see more theme parky content coming up, please give this video a like, please comment down below, please subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. If you've got any podcasts you want me to be on, then just Drop me a message. I've got my Instagram in the description down below. I don't mind. Um, now, please share this video with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in for when we hit 2,000 subscribers. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So this is all about the project that I've been involved in. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've known about this for about four weeks. This is bit this this sort of being involved in this podcast has been involved for about four weeks uh, and it first came about when Thrill Central, the guy running the podcast uh, messaged me on Instagram uh, asking me that it was doing a podcast series and he wanted to know if I was going to be on it um, so I, obviously with America and Britain with the different uh, time zones and you know I didn't know how the podcast was going to get recorded so you know immediately I was already asking questions like um, like, do you want me to send any audio across? Do you want me to um, do it in a day where, or a time where I feel like it suits both of us, or anything like that? Um, and you know, they all got answered. We all, you know, we did the, um, you know, it's, it's a, it was around about seven o'clock in the after, in the evening uh, in my time, but it was like two, I guess, like twenty past two. Uh, for them in the states so it was very different time zones which makes it even more amazing because the fact that I got to even do that podcast is incredible uh, so basically yeah if you haven't seen it already this podcast was all about the Florida Coaster Wars and sort of Disney and Universal getting in the coaster game and the SeaWorld and Busch Gardens parks were touched about as well on the podcast episode as well uh, and I was doing this with Theme Park Media Coaster Hour and uh, Blue Fire Coasters, who do some. The, the, he's got a few videos on there from No Limits too, but he, he's, I, I believe he's wanted to branch out from No Limits and do some some other theme park videos, so, some like reviews and some predictions maybe as well. So uh, you know, I put the links to all the channels, including Thrill Central, in the description down below as well, so you can subscribe to Thrill Central, Coaster Hour. Theme Park Media and Blue Fire Coasters. They're all wonderful people. We chatted for about an hour after we finished the podcast and for about half an hour before we started the podcast. So we were chatting for a long time. Uh, all about coasters. It was all about coasters and the pandemic and, you know, how. It, and, I, and I was hearing, you know, the situation in America from them first. Uh, so it's kind of a privilege to hear that, uh, to hear what's going on in their country um, from them rather than find anything out like written online so it's good to hear it straight from the Americans mouths um, and it was this and it was the same with me to be fair it's a good ch it was a good opportunity to share you know how we were doing and stuff like that so we all kept in touch so it was all a good chat and the podcast came on and it was just a fantastic coaster chat it was just a brilliant chat now I love the podcast named coasters and toasters uh, i didn't know anything about the toasters bit but thrill central before was like you know just it, everyone else introduce yourself first and you do it last just to you know give you an idea of how we do it uh, which was completely fine um so it sort of once i knew what they were doing i was like yeah i've got an i you know I've, i can you know do it um and it was such good fun to be on that podcast again that that video is linked on the community post and it's been linked in the description down below along with the other channels involved uh, so if you don't know much about these channels then thrill central uh he's got nearly six thousand subscribers which is brilliant 
uh, Theme Park Media, they're on the road to 6,000. Coaster Hour, he's on the road to 2,000 or at least 1,500 specifically. I know he's on the road towards them. And of course, Blue Fire Coasters, uh, they haven't got many subs right now, but I do believe that they are going to uh, get loads of subs in the future, just like uh, those three channels are and just like I have. Uh, so I know Blue Fire Coasters is going to get more subscribers very, very soon. But they're just starting out with, you know, more than just No Limits, hopefully, in the future. So, you know, it's kind of like a starting process for Blue Fire Coasters. So uh, it, it's exciting, really. Um, but it was such an incredible process to be a part of and like I said before I've known about this for four weeks you guys haven't had a clue I've been doing video after video after video after video and you guys never once asked about any projects or anything like that but it was good it was kind of good because I felt like the more people that would ask that the more I would buckle under the pressure of keeping this project a secret um, but it's not a secret anymore it's out in the open I can let it out uh, I have got some other projects that I really want to do um, but it's sort of obviously with the pandemic it's very very hard to do these projects uh, that it's it's dream projects that I've got in mind I'm not gonna say anything about them now obviously I've mentioned something about a big project uh, that was the podcast is one of them but and we've got another project lined up and I have said it some kind of interview in the past so obviously when you guys find out you'll know and again just like this I'll do an explanation video behind the interview and things like that uh, but there's some other dream projects I've always wanted to do not just as a theme park enthusiast but as a youtuber as a youtuber I've always wanted to do these massive projects so uh, I will be talking a bit more about them as well uh, in due course uh, when they're all done uh, but you know for now I'm just gonna revel in the fact that I after four weeks I can finally tell you guys about this podcast uh, so they have already released one episode they released episode two which includes me uh, last night uh, it was like two in, it was like nearly two in the morning or about two in the morning in UK time so it was quite late and I managed to stay up I woke up at half 11 today because <laughs> I wanted to stay up and wait for the video to come on uh, but it was so exciting to hear the podcast when it came on. I heard it all the way through and it came out absolutely perfectly, even though I've already, you know, talked on it. <laughs> I still wanted to hear it back, just to like hear all the stuff back and hear what we were talking about. And you know what? There's some, there's some good talking points and I'd really, really, really recommend you uh, watching this podcast. And like I said, the link for it is in the description down below. You can watch episode one again as well. And like I said, if you guys that have got smaller YouTube channels or even bigger YouTube channels who, you know, want guests on a podcast or if you want some opinions on any news up updates or any prediction videos that you've got lined up, get, drop a message on my Instagram. It's in the description down below. I don't mind doing any other projects with any other guys. I really don't, whether, it's, whether you're from the UK, you're from Europe, you're from Asia, whether you're from America, uh, like these guys were whether you're from Australia, I don't care. I will do projects with all of you. So, um, because I want to help smaller YouTubers and I also want to be a part of the bigger YouTubers. It's nice to get those connections and those collaborations uh, with the bigger YouTubers. But with the smaller YouTubers, it's great to help smaller content creators and get their channels, you know, up and up. Uh, so, because obviously this channel is about theme parks, but, you know, if you've got any projects that you want me to do, um whether it be just any talkative subject, whether it be music or anything like that, just drop me a message. I will get involved with anything. Um, so, you know, this project was a great project to be a part of and a great podcast to be a part of. Uh, and like I said, I've known this for about four weeks uh, and it first came about about four weeks ago. Uh, so around about a month. So, you know, doing this, pro you know, getting prepared and doing this project in about a, in the space of a month you know, was um, was a great experience for me personally. Uh, but it was great to hear things from the American side of you because obviously I've never been to America so I don't know the coaster operations and things like that. So they really taught me the ropes of the America parks and vice versa. I told them about the UK and Europe and, you know, uh, I, can't I can't remember who it was but one person did say that uh, this, he thinks the Swarm looks great. So obviously you guys know that Swarm is my favourite Thought Park coaster. So, you know, you guys know that that's my favourite so I knew that the Americans would be excited about that and and actually to be fair Blue Fire Coasters um, aka Dustin he actually did a 
Bush, ta Bush Gardens Tampa Giga Coaster on No Limits 2, if they ever were to add a No Limits 2 coaster. And to be fair, we were talking about the Tampa Giga possibility on, a podca on the podcast, so if you want to check that bit out, then you can go check it out with the rest of the podcast. But he created an awesome looking Tampa Giga, and I really can't wait for that. There was some theme park news that came out whilst we were talking after the podcast, which I'm going to do on a separate news update, so stay tuned for a theme park news update today. Uh, from the Dubai Park Mall. I'm very excited to see your reactions to that. Uh, but for now, guys, yeah, that is that is it. That is this big project. Well, one of the big projects, of course. Uh, but this is like the first major summer project that I've uh, been involved in and I've got finished and I've got done. Again, massive thank you to Thrill Central, Theme Park Media, Coaster Hour and Blue Fire Coasters. Um... They made me feel so welcome on that podcast. Honestly, they are just the most incredible people. You know, I knew a little bit about America. I, I knew quite a bit about America. Obviously, doing the research for the news updates to do with Iron Gwazi, Pantheon, any other American projects. It was always good to do the research for those projects, but I've never really understood how they operate without being an American myself. So it was great to learn straight from them how they operate. And it was great to learn their opinions as well on things. It was great to learn their opinions on the UK and Europe. And, you know, there was like a little sort of mention about the European projects as well. So, you know, it, it was very, it was very good. It was a very good to be a part of. And a big thank you to all four of those guys, really, because they are incredible people. I'd recommend you go and subscribe to them. Again, links in the description down below. I keep saying that because I want people to subscribe to them. I want you guys to subscribe to each and every four of them. Um... And I would just say, if you've got an idea for a channel, or if you've got an idea for something you want to do on social media that's positive, and that's something that you're really passionate about, go for it. Just just go for it, because I've gone for it, and I'm in a good place. I'm in a really good place with this channel. You know, we're getting towards 2,000 subscribers. I want to do more stuff than just theme parks. I want to, you know, like I said before, I can do anything. I can go into... <laughs> I'm not a rapper, but I could do, I could spit some bars for a song. Um, I could literally do anything. I could do anything. So, I really, really feel like we're in a good place with this channel. And I want you guys that have a passion to content create, just go for it. Because you never know what could happen. Um, so big thank you to Thrill Central, Theme Park Media, Coaster Hour, and Blue Fire Coasters, aka Dustin, for uh, letting me come on this podcast, really, because it was such a great experience. And again, I'll say it again, I'll say it for a fourth time, links to all four channels are in the description. Link to the podcast episode on the Thrill Central YouTube channel is in the description. Let's get Thrill Central and Theme Park Media to 6,000 subscribers. Let's get Coaster Hour to 2,000 subscribers like we're on the road to. Let's get Blue Fire Coasters up the ranks as well. I can't remember exactly how many subscribers they've got, but let's get them to 1,000 as soon as possible at least. Uh, so thank you very much, guys, for watching this social media lounge. Just a little update to tell you guys what this project was. Uh, but think big thank you to all of you for supporting. Uh, the channel and getting me to this position and getting me to do these incredible experiences and like I said this isn't the only project we've got lined up we've got incredible projects that I want to do incredible incredible projects that I want to get involved with I want to create I want to do to build up this channel so thank you very much guys for watching this theme park social media lounge episode nearly touched you guys again and for now guys please like comment subscribe and for now guys my name is Coast Chow Keep them the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.